It's double unboxing time. We got two brand new watches from MMI, a dive watch inspired by the cuttlefish. Now, some of you may be thinking, what's a cuttlefish? Well, it's an amazing sea creature. But is this new diver an amazing sea creature as well? Let's find out right now. Introducing the all new MMI Cuddlecron, a dive watch inspired by the stealthy adaptability of the cuttlefish. MMI was founded in 2019 and has a great lineup of watches. But the Cuddlecron takes the brand back to its roots, drawing heavily from their very first watch, the Dumbo. It's basically the Dumbo refined with their signature modern twist. The case is the real standout star here and it features a unique squircle shape. It's somewhere between a circle and a square and it creates an interesting presence on their wrist. The top and bottom of the case feature circular brushing while the sides have a raw vertical brushing. These contrasting finishes are divided by a bold high polished bevel that runs along both the top and bottom of the case. The watch has a clean symmetrical aesthetic from every angle. Now much like the cuttlefish, which blends into surroundings with its specialized cells, MMI has cleverly integrated their crown into the corner of the case. This stealthy design element makes it slightly trickier than a standard crown, but it still remains user friendly. The crown is a screw down crown and they've even gone the extra mile by adding a pointed tip to mirror the sharp angles of the case. Unfortunately, unlike the cuttlefish, which is frequently found at 600 meters depth, this watch can only do 150 meters. Yeah, that's a bit less than the typical 200 we often see, and that's probably due to the square screw on case back. And speaking of the case back, it's a treat featuring an intricately oil pressed cuttlefish. So when you're telling someone about your watch and they undoubtedly ask you what's a cuttlefish, you can flip over your watch and show them. Now let's do those dimensions. I got 42 millimeters in diameter and a secret measurement of 30.5. And I got a thickness of 12.5 and there are no drilled lugs and a lug to lug of 42 millimeters. Guys, keep in mind, because of the unique design, this 42 by 42 watch wears more like a 40 mil, but you guys be the judge on the far away shots and let me know how it wears. Now moving on to the bezel, it sports a crisp coin edge design paired with a fully loomed ceramic insert. But the real question is, how does it feel and sound? The bezel is a pleasure to use. I really like it. It's not as harsh as you typically find on most micro brands. This one offers a little bit of a softer, more refined click. Now we're going to take a look at the loom. This has X1 top grade Swiss Super Luminova and it glows pretty good, especially the fully loomed yellow dial. And note, guys, if you go for the lime green color variant, that one is also fully loomed. The black dial and dark green dial are like this blue one with just normal loom. Now let's talk about something I'm happy to report. MMI has upgraded their bracelets, finishing and their clasp. This one is a beautiful flat H-link design with beveled high polished edges. It's 22 millimeters and it tapers down to 20. The bracelet is completely solid with solid end links and a fully milled clasp. And that's not all, the end links do have quick release spring bars built in and the clasp has four on the fly toolless micro adjustments. The articulation on the links is fantastic and I found it very comfortable. However, the bronze versions only come with a genuine leather strap. The leather strap does have quick release spring bars as well and a bronze buckle. And guys, I forgot to mention the crystal. It's of course sapphire, but this one has a slight single dome. 
The Sapphire does have anti-reflective coating on the underside, and it does give you a clear view of that dial. And speaking of the dial, both watches sport stadium style chapter rings, but the yellow dial takes it up a notch with a bold contrasting black. They both rock the same vibrant orange seconds hand and MMI signature Rota date wheel. Near the center of the dial, you'll notice a little orange indicator by the date. It's a unique way to display the date, even if you might have to squint a bit to read it. Now the blue dial actually has a brushed textured finish that runs horizontal and it plays with the light. It looks great outdoors. The hands are sleek sword style with a perfect loom to body ratio and the high polish applied indices really pop. But I've got to say, I wish they skipped the word automatic on the dial. I think they should have just put Cuddlecron instead. I think that would have been a nice touch. What do you guys think? So what's powering the Cuddlecron? It's the Myota 9015. It's a 24 joule 288 VPH hack hand wind automatic and it's got 42 hours of power reserve. This movement is quickly becoming the standard in the industry as micro brands start to skip the NH35 Seiko option for this much better movement. And for those of you who may not know, the danger zone for changing the date is 8.30 p.m. to 2 a.m. on the 9015. And it's officially rated at negative 10 plus 30, but it looks like MMI is regulating these, which is awesome. Now there will be a link in the description to the Kickstarter. It begins in September, delivery in January. So not that long of a wait to get your watch. The super early bird price is $349 for the stainless steel with bracelet or $384 for the bronze. For me, I'm usually not a fan of uh, bright colors, but I don't know why for the Cuddlecron, I'm liking the lime green here. I wish I got to see that one. <laughs> Let me hear your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.